Cartesian Diver! Cartesian Diver... Cartesian Diver. You will need a bottle of your favourite drink. Again, one straw, one paper clip, two coins, one lighter. Great. What now? This now. Before we get to how it works, let's recap some stuff about density. Imagine we have two identically sized blocks of water and air. At normal atmospheric pressure, the block of water will have more mass than the block of air. It weighs more. Now, let's consider our diver in the bottle of water. If we followed the montage footage properly, the only air secured in the bottle will be the air trapped in our diver. The rest of the space inside is taken up by water. Remember how we put the paper clip on the straw? This was to keep the straw upright so the air bubble remained trapped inside the diver. The diver floats because the air inside is less dense than the water around it. When we squeeze the bottle, we make use of two important facts. The first is that water is a liquid and that liquid, within reason, is incompressible. The second is that air is compressible. When we compress the air enough, it becomes more dense than the water around it. This makes it sink. When we let go of the bottle, the air bubble returns to its original pressure, and the diver is less dense than the water around it, so it rises. Bosch. Thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to subscribe.